Today I want to show you a cool and useful tool I've recently found. It's called uh, Open Rewrite. Open Rewrite uh, helps to perform large-scale automatic source code refactorings of our Java code base. So Open Rewrite, for example, helps us to migrate from Java 8 to Java 11 by automatically uh, doing changes uh, on our source code based on deprecations, for example. It also helps to migrate from uh, various uh, libraries to their new versions. So for example, if you want to migrate from JUnit 4 to JUnit 5, you can include Open Rewrite to your project. So Open Rewrite comes with a plugin for both Maven and Gradle. And Open Rewrite uh, works with so-called recipes. So we include the Open Rewrite plugin to our project and then activate a recipe. And this recipe is like a cookbook recipe. It includes various migration paths we need to perform to, for example, migrate here a uh, Spring Boot 2 application from JUnit 4 to JUnit 5. And internally, this migration uh, has a set of rules and actions to perform, which will modify our existing source code and then uh, perform the migration in the background for us. Um, how it works internally, it's creating an abstract syntax tree of our source code and then uses the Java visitor pattern to apply various changes. So for example, change the signature, change the class name or reorder parameters of a method if they have changed with the recent dependency or Java version. So if you want to learn more about how Open Rewrite works in detail, uh, check out their documentation. We are going to showcase Open Rewrite based on a simple Maven example. So what I've prepared here is a basic uh, Maven project. We are using quite an old Mokito version, so Mokito 1.10 here, so I guess it's uh, 10 years old now. And updating such old testing libraries uh, may not be the most important technical depth you have in your project, but anyways, uh, having a project with such old dependencies can block you for at various Part. So, for example, you may not be able to use a recent JDK version on the long run or your developers may not have the most productive workflow as they are still using features of a Mokito here, for example, from 10 years. And performing such a migration by hand is, is quite an effort. There are for sure regex uh, available on the internet uh, that showcase how you can do the migration in a kind of automated way automatic way but still it's a lot of uh, effort and with open rewrite uh, you have um, a solution to automate this inside your your build flow or at least start the migration so not everything will work perfect depending on which features you're using because open rewrite also can't migrate everything for you it then depends on the on the change or the deprecation but it's anyway a good start so here uh, as mentioned we have mokito 1.10 and then down here inside our build section for our project, I've already added open rewrite the Maven plugin and activated this one recipe here. So while well, Mokito 4 is the recent Mokito version, let's do a step-by-step -step migration. So first migrate from Mokito 1 to Mokito 3 and then reapply a new recipe here to then finally migrate uh, to Mokito 4. So that's the active recipe we are uh, including here. And also we need uh, the rewrite testing frameworks dependency down here. So while I quickly showcased you some other recipes uh, for open rewrite, there are a lot. So check out if something is on their list that may help to improve the quality of your project. And to have a basic example for such a migration, uh, we have a simple unit test that tests here this pricing service, so nothing special. No need to focus here on the implementation, just to showcase it. We have a single class that has uh, two collaborators and this method here internally it does some business logic based on the response of those collaborators. And if we move to the test, there's already a test. First off, we can see we are using Mokito 1 here 
uh, next to JUnit 4. So also the move to my to JUnit 5 may be a thing we could automate uh, later on with uh, Open Rewrite. But for now, let's focus on the Mokito migration. And what we have here, we have uh, two basic tests and I already marked the places that are deprecated with Mokito 3. So here, for example, the argument matcher for our stubbing setup uses the matchers class with Mokito 3. Uh, this class no longer available as it's now called argument matcher. So that's one migration point uh, that needs to be done. Another smaller one here is the verify zero interactions. So this method also no longer exists with recent Mokito versions and we need to use the verify no interactions. So while we could uh, do this migration step by step for each test class, this is really not a scalable approach for bigger projects. And also as mentioned, applying a regex to your code base is possible, but I personally feel more confident using this tool. What we can uh, do to uh, get a look at the changes Open Rewrite would perform to our code base, we can uh, perform a dry run. So therefore, um, use the Open Rewrite plugin and run the dry run goal here. So this will use the activated recipe and output a patch file of the changes um, Open Rewrite would perform for us. So once this completes here, as mentioned, quite a small project, so this may take longer for bigger projects. We can find a patch file in target site rewrite rewrite.patch. So for Gradle, it will be part of the build folder. And this here is a classic uh, patch file. You will see here the changes to our imports. So the first thing here is, as mentioned, the matchers class will be removed and Mokito will now use the argument matchers class. And then we can also see here the exact change that Open Rewrite will perform to our code base. So the minus here is the old code line, the plus is uh, the new one. And for this basic unit test, there's not a lot of changes, but anyways, if you run this dry run, you can have a first look at the um, changes that Open Rewrite would perform and only then perform the migration. If you're using a, a version control system, Git for example, there's also no, no need to worry anyways, because if the migration fails to whatever reason, you can just roll back to your old code state. So with this dry run, we can we are now confident that the migration uh, will go um, well, and therefore let's execute the actual migration with rewrite run. And then we get also here in the log file a list of changes open rewrite did perform. So internally it has a reusable uh, list of change actions. So open rewrite here, change the method name, change the type and change the type again. So here also you will see the perform changes based on each Java class. If we now move to our test, we can see here, uh, it already changed the argument matchers, um, but we get a compilation error because it cannot resolve the um, argument matchers class yet. But you can see the changes have been made to the source code. Uh, they were properly replaced. And to now make our test compile again, we now, as a final step, need to bump the Mokito version. So therefore, let's pick a Mokito version. And if that's the case, we reload our project here. And then we can now try to run our tests again. now see a successful test output and if we move to our pricing test we also see here the imports can now be resolved that we replaced the import with the Mokito version 3 and now have uh, showcased uh, the migration from Mokito 1 to Mokito 3 with a really basic example. Um, you may run into a little bit more is issues depending on which Mokito 1 features you're using but uh, this open rewrite automation is a, a good starting point. And if you automate uh, the low hanging fruits with it, uh, there will be little for you to adjust uh, for yourself. 
And also note, um, you can write your own uh, recipe. So if you have a company internal uh, dependency or library that you uh, want the whole company to bump to the next major version, you can uh, write your own recipe and then share it inside your organization to speed up the process of migrating to a new library and uh, this way have a really nice solution to automate such tedious tasks uh, that would take quite a, quite long if you do it by hand or uh, using regex from the internet you, you don't understand. <laughs>